Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews and welcome back to another conference finals of the NHL Stanley Cup. This is now game two as we're ready to get this thing underway here in between Eastern and Western Conference. Now as the rematch puts things on, it's the Maple Leafs and the Hurricanes as the Hurricanes are up at a start one nothing over the Maple Leafs. The next commentary I have in between right now to start things over is Boomer and he's also along with Son of Beast. And of course right now with us on our ice is all be called for in his paintbrush. And this one will be the new replacement for the Carolina Hurricanes as Spencer Martin will be the second game goaltender of the night and as Elias Samsonov will be the same goaltender on the other side. But let's hope that there might be another way to keep this thing through. Will this be a tie game for a series of Toronto Maple Leafs or will the Hurricanes extend it up 2-0 with a game? Let's hope there is. Now, on to the game at PNC Arena. See you all later, everybody. Hey everybody, it's Boomer, and we are at Carolina. Game two of the night as we're ready to see them rematch again. It's go time. Along with me, Boomer, and Center Beast, and a Center Ice, please, all we call for, the name of it is Paintbrush. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We're ready to start. And here we go, we're ready to get this thing over in between the courtesy goaltender matchups between Martin and Santanon. Ready to start. As the start one takes it in, here's another take here for Terramina. We'll start it over now again to Central. He'll find that pepper on the net. He's again to Terramina. We'll go down finding again to Slav and again to Burns. Burns on a shot. Stop me here by Santanon. This will be rebounded over and now Nais will have the puck. Corey right wing. Lost the effort in the center. And this one will carry it offside for Carolina World Games. Quick zone action as they give it over paintbrush. Sebastian Argo is one of his third liability that has been doing a lot of his intentional way to keep that one in here and look in between. Austin Matthews is one of the great ones to take here on a shot and liability to keep that one out of the, out of the line. The better angle it is to keep that one in here for one of the better keys to have it in here. And it's a better way to have that one keep it on coming down to make this one more room for successful. I'll find out in those two in between uh, Sebastian Ako and Austin Matthews. Let's find out who can take it. Back to you. He just throws right over it again. Now he finds another such cough. Such cough lost that puck and he finds Slavic. Shot! And it's saved by Santanon. This will be a first and second save of night. As they right now we're underway in Carolina with the game scores. Now they're up and ready to do an air face off. But the last game happening here, and this has happened with the Carolina Hurricanes, have been a great win. And this one was really unable to get that one pretty tough on a, out of the angle of it on the other side of it. This one wasn't really easy enough to get them going. And you know, every time it happened with them, they were really trying to get that one in there. And it's not always easier. When you give it over with the buck on the wood, they, they have that better on the straight, and you need to get this one there through, they have it done. They have no one else to be uh, to go in between, but that is just a hard way to get right into it. And there is no other way they can try to defend it. This one is hard enough to do it what they're expecting for Kochikov to get that one they stop and save. But as for the Hurricane say they are doing, they really need to get that one back up. And they just with the buck. Trying to give a go over and out of Skidgy. But like Lushkin has that buck seal. Here's Neil Lane. Go to her left, right wing. Little stab by him. He goes again. This one went down. Back to Martin up. Martin up right toward the right wing. Now he's over now and toward the left. A stall of them. The piece over now finding again a sketchy. He finds Chapio with a shot and both saved by Sentinel. 17 on 4 to go in the first period. So we're going to get that goal for Carolina or Toronto. Now they're ready for the face off. Not a win as right now it goes back and over again to Lugar. Lugar in. Try to hustle its way down. He fires that puck. And now he rolls it out over and begins to pull off. The pass key to stall. Stall. Trying to get over into it. And here's Jarvis shot. 
Big save on the play by Simpsonon. Easier one to get there to in front of it. That has to be a lot of hard takeover. They're not expecting what they're playing for, but that needs to be out there real. Save by the man, he scores. That will be the first goal for Tavares in the crease pressure. He start things up in the first period, but that one was close rear to, near the uh, crease crescent, but that was taking in there, right in between of a leg on the pad, and this one just kept flying in there. That was like a back end of goal, but this one carried it in. Maple Leafs on a start one here for the first period, on 16 and 26 left to go in the first. Now the win for Tavares, he will give it again to Brody, and now he finds McMahon. Stopping and showing him down, and then Burns will have it. The pass over to Fats. Fats makes his way in front with the shot saved here by Sansonov. 6 no, six left to go in the first period. Tries to hold on to that attack in the range. And now they're ready for the next face off. Now the win puts it in for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Rogue will now finding over again to Marner. Marner swings it over to get to Brody. Brody takes a kick. Now he goes rolling over to Fats. Yeah, back and go right to cut Kenny. Well, today, I'm going to try to score! Knows it with his first goal in game two. How's that one even up? Now, watch what the hustle is there, because that one is moving his way through. But getting me to Knows it, that one was a great pass over. And this one was flying right forward right down to the left of the zone. The alley of it was able to take it, and that one was a great goal that stayed to start on it. Carolina is pushing their way here. I mean, they want it at all. I don't know what they're going to do, but hey, this is what the game is all about. Got to play it for real, guys. Now the win puts it in right now for Sebastian Nago. We will now have it over. And Brody will take the fuck away. He was looking right every game with Naives. Naives and Matthews. Out on the other side of it, went down. And Ayes will have a chance at her. Alvo takes the puck away. He's racing his way down right toward the other way zone. And he passes to Tara Martin. Looks it over now, again to Burns. Burns to slap and now finding Tara Martin. Tara Martin scoops it. Safe puts it up by Simpson off. He now has a range in to Burns. Burns to pass to Alvo. It's broken up. And Ajo will have it again to Burns, again to Slavin. Slavin shoots, this one stop. And Ajo takes it in, oh, and Simpsonov tries to save it up. Had a bad angle with the shot, but he stops it. I don't know what's gonna keep on going, but that one really is gonna keep on getting it out. And taking it over was not even easy. I don't know what's gonna keep going, but that is just hard when it takes. Shot, scores! Great sketchy, nice save. It's now a 2-1 game, Carolina. Brady Spanish, he fires that quick, and that one just rips it right toward the net. That one was great wicked, right towards it, and it just surpasses through the goaltender. How did that be coming in, flopping in there, and I was like, wow, a great take. Sketchy team is right now, Sketchy has an hour playoff goal. It now comes to be a 2-1 game for Carolina. Now the wing puts it in, especially will now have it to go over to get in the matrix. Maybe he's right toward the right wing. He fires that one around the net. Now he gives a take for Drew. The pass to Brighton. And sketchy in on our take stop by Sansonov. 14 29 left to go in the first court period of the game. As right now, Martin's still alright out there. On the other side of the corner, I think he will be alright. Now they're ready for the next face off. Now the wing for the Maple Leafs. He has it right number over again to Riley. Riley finds Dobie. Dobie gives to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi over to Dobie. Lost the effort, and it's now Martin with the puck save. Puck save. Puck save. As we will get ready for the next face off. Martin with his first one to take his appearance in game two of the conference finals. The team is up again by one. Now the win puts it in. As Pesky will have it over, now trying to give over back the other way. Here, just smacking it right across the board. Here's Drury. 
shot for the Larry Smith for the rebound. This one is redirected and it goes right back to over again to Bunny. And Sketchy will have another take. You can see what happens right now. Bunny is really trying to like get real forceful at this point. They're not really picking that up at all. But but the big change is they need to get this one right one way shot. I mean they need to find another way to keep that one moving back and forth. Besky gives the puck back out again. Nylander with luck see it. Redirect it. And this one will clean the puck out of here. And maybe Leafs will go get that one out. And it's up to now for cover the puck. Now the next face off coming in for the Carolina and Toronto. And the Severus will win the face off. Raleigh has it over there right now against Yonko. Yonko makes a hit as Martin will now have it over again, back again to Jarvis. Wow, what a rocket blast get! This is really what they are taking us. This is painful what they were getting in there. Jarvis didn't seem to like it. But that is just no way they can't let that smack down and be the worst. He stops the puck with only 12 42 to 44 to go. And the first three, get ready for the next take so. Here's the next face off between for Carolina or Toronto. It's a 2 1 score for Carolina. 12 43 left to go. And now Raleigh will have it. Here's like Bushkin. He's right toward it into the right wing. He will now fire that one out. Here's the takeover now. It's Slavin will have it again to Otto. Otto gives it again to Svechikov. Over the airway. Riley takes the puck away. And McMahon will have it. He lifts it up in the air. This won't get back to Slavin. Slavin, the deep pass to Terrabine. They beat over to Otto shot. Off the glove again by Samsonov. And Buck taken away. Chaffee letting the Buck go. And now this will be Wiley with a back the air away. Back in the Yonko. Yonko loses the echo. Chaffee Now in their zone. And it's another st steal. And there's a penalty call on Carolina. Yes, this is not turning out what they're expecting to do so. They don't play like that because that's a tripping call. They got dirty already, but this is not a great call to give that one a good chance for Carolina to get the puck away. First penalty kill will be Carolina, which is coming down to a near in a midway mark in the period. As they're not such cops in the building box. With the better take of this provincial Marner, with the foot eye ability, he has a lot of them to go right into his perception. The better take is with the third eye needs to be out there done, and it can be a lot of a change up to have it in there out front. I was trying to find out if there's Mitchell Marner with the power play goal. And Stahl will have it over now. Jarvis clears that puck in. Now into the Maple Leafs up. And here's another take to Young Cook. And Bertuzzi will have it over now to Nylander. Knocks it over with the screen, and this one will be back and over again to Jarvis. He fires that puck out. Toronto back the airway, now he finds to get him on. Big slap on the down hit. SD clears it out of here. He was low, but he will now have it over to get a Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi, right toward it in the center, in the slot. Lost the effort. Nylander. Over in the shot for Bertuzzi. Stopped by Morton. Martin gets the yard grip. For a redirection ahead, this one gets over to Pesky. And Stahl will clear that out of here. And this one, deep shot, won't take the effort. Pass the midway mark of the period in the first. Marner lost the effort. And it's Drury clearing the puck out. Just 30 seconds for the Leafs power play. Now Petruzzi will have it the air. Gets it again to Martin. Bart shoots, and it's saved off by Barton. Finds Brennan. Brennan, who's that puck out? We'll say it's such a cost time, it's about to expire. Now rolls over again to Marner. And that should do here for the Leafs power play as their 0 one for this time. You know, better lead off is not taking what they're expecting. They really are not letting this go by, but that it just happens to be 
anybody's game, so they need to be finding another one to take in now. Based off weight, 40 Hurricanes is now on Chaffee. We'll have it again at such a cut. Rolls around the net, and Terravina will have it the other way. Back to Chaffee, and Mia finds a run. Shot, and this one's stopped by Samson on. 8.51 left to go in the first period. Still looking like they wanted to get this one goal back. Now they're ready for the next faceoff. They are still looking their way up across right now as they wanted to get this one back again. And now it's a win for Tavares, the team, as Marner will have it the airway on the other side. Fires that puck out. And it's Ago with the puck. Now try to race over again to Special Cup. Cutting inbound. Looks it over. Terramine in. Shot! Saved up again by Simpsonoff. Really got to be out there quite uh, intense out there, but they really are starting to go over pressure. They really are trying to look it our way in. Now the win for today for Kirkades. Shot! For a rebound! Knocking in the goalpost, and this one goes back to camp. And Reeves will have it the airway. Carolina might take him down as Camp will have it. Right toward the right wing. And Chaffee will have it over with the rebound. This one takes out, and it's missed it. Camp with a shot, saved by Martin. 747 left to go in the first period. Still looking like they wanted to tie it up again. Now to take for Jacob Slavin. Jacob Slavin is one of the better defensive effort. His shutdown has been great. He's looking like he's really doing well that he was expecting. But the better is, the question must be coming in there for one of the takes. But it has to be a one word to get that one with a lot of defensive effort and keep that in there. Flying fast, and now he gets again to Slavin. Slavin shot, was saved again by Samsonov. They really need to do something else right now because they can't be shooting it like that all the effort. So if they can't be playing it like they did. Now a nice face off coming up for Carolina or Toronto. 7.17 left to go in the first period. He finds Burks. Burks gives it again to Slavin. Slavin shot, and saved by Samsonov. It's a great stoppage to take over it. Now with another chance effort, Carolina still trying to get right in ahead. Now the way puts it in, as Slavin gives to Burns. Burns lost the effort, gives again to Slavin. Slavin shoots, it's redirected and a shot, saved up by Sentinel. Bunnings team on full pressure. They're really going to keep it going out there. Slavin shoots and gloves it up. Man, they're just throwing a hunger start already in the first period. But I don't know who's going to keep on coming down. This is what nobody has ever seen like this. Now, I wouldn't really expect playing like that at all, but that, you got to get down with a lot of better effort here, and you need to keep on going big. Now, the win for Carolina is right now, it's Riley. Now, he rolls over. Here's Eli right there. Riley has it across. Tommy, take a smack down here. For the last game we've seen this one play in India, this has happened to be the, the uh, chest, it being the, the ribbon of broken on his on his bone for the leg. He scores! Wow, State team with two goals. That one sets up 3 1. Boy, you get a crowd now, and they're not overwhelmingly out there. It looks like he's getting another playoff goal. He has two. And yes, you know that one happened out there. I was really noticing that this one was coming in there. He was trying to defend it, but that was too late because he was not moving in time. This one has stopped everybody, and this is not how it's going to happen. That's because of Carolina. They have that other goal. Great take out there. The Rockies are extended right now. 3 1 over to Andre Williams. They were starting this one to make it to the credit in their effort, and I was really sure that they could, they could do it. Yes, they can. I always can definitely tell you that this time, might be a happy thought, but I don't know, this might be. A little bit of change-off can be a little bit of a hard and difficult way, 
But I'm definitely telling you now, I mean, this was what I always get to expect them playing it like that at all times. Can you play it like that? I don't know if I can. Not without arms. No, nope, that means Boomer doesn't have anything. But I bet I could play it like that. Oh, just take your hard contact if you can. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I were playing it right, I mean, they won't, they won't judge me. Let's save my Samson off. Five, 21 left to go in the first period. Three wins to score for Carolina. All this is about to drop the puck. We're waiting to take another face. Now the win for Sebastian Ava. He gives it over to Chaffield with a shot. Redirect it out of here, and this one will poke it out. Ava lost the effort. And Bennett will have it again to McMahon. McMahon finding Yonkro. Yonkro finding McCabe again to McMahon. McMahon lost the puck. Sebastian Ava racing down for the airway. And Terabine for a shot, and it's saved off by Samsonov. Sheffield letting it go right and through. For the backhander, it's blocked up by a defensive player. This one will fire that out. And Sheffield will have it in the airway, trying to give over now to Terabine. Fires that puck around the net. McCabe finds McMahon. Back to McCabe. McCabe finds it again to Yargo. Four minutes left to remain in the first. And Tavares, chopped up by Fast. He now has the airway. And Ajo. Can't take the effort in here. And Slavin will now have to regroup again to Burns. They're starting to go too fast already. I mean, they need to get this one slowing down. I mean, if they don't have anything to go left behind right now, I wouldn't say, but this wouldn't be a great chance effort if they could play it like that. Saved up by Martin. And Slavin will have it over again to try to give it out and give it up with nowhere luck. Now Kennedy looking for his way if Spencer Martin can definitely act it up with the same. And here's Drew. Right over the pass to Burns again to Slavin. Slavin shoots and scores! Wow! Slavin! Early range and a snipe, and he has another goal. Just firing that in there, that's what Slavin has done. Doing what he takes in that very goal. You know what happened with that one on the screen? What has to be a great look. The great protective is there, it's right in front of it. But as it can take it over, that one was really the net thing in here. Make this one count, that one was excellent to put it in. Go on and sense your lead. It's a full one game. It looks like that Martin Jones will be able to get to replace him if he wants to know. And right now, like Rushkin will have it over in the other way, and now I'm finding Nikes. Nikes in trouble. And Slavin will have it again to Burns. Burns trying to give over now to give the pass over. Now finding it again to Drew. For a shot range, and this one stopped out by Santanov. Love saved by Santanov. Lebushkin fires again to Matthews. Matthews right to her right wing. Pass over to Marner. This is wide. Slavin. Now finds again a Martin up. Kicks the puck. Unable to clear it out. And Burns will have it the airway. Down to two minutes in the stretch. Deep pass to Natchez. Natchez can't hold on with the puck. And Riley will have it over again. Trying to find Matthews. Matthews on a shot. Missed out again. As Skidney will have it over again to Jervis. Jervis. Moves it over in. The pass to Stahl. Saved by Samsonov. Catches and releases. And now back again to Naiz. Well, the easier way is going to be taking over a too close to call. That was going to stay out of it for a longer period of the sign, but that one wasn't easy enough to keep it in there. I know it was a hard one, but they can't be leaving it out alone like they did. Now, Skidgey will have it over, firing in our way again to Martinuk. Martinuk is again assault. So shoots, save here by Santanov. And just only one minute left to remain in the courts. With a shot for a redirection, and Santanov drops the save. The very down the end of the first period, 4-1, they're overhead by three. 
not a win. Here's Sketchy shot for three. This one is knocked out. And to remind it, Mr. Pesky for a shot and saved by Santanov. Man, looks like there are just shooting everywhere right now. Looks like the Leafs are on a, on a terrible way to the star. Looks like they're going to have to get dressed up in a locker room to get some rehydration. And that looks like they need to get moving out there. They need to start in our way to have these appearances. The win puts it in. Sketchy for three. He blocked the shot. Terrible Gets it again to Pesky. Pesky moves it over. Good block is stopped made by Sentinel. He now finds Taravina. Sketchy shoots. Big save by Sentinel. Man, he has been trying to cover this foot up with 20 seconds left in the first period. Another win for today. That's good. We will now have our work to Pesky. That's saved again. And Svenchikov got that piece of it. Back to Peshke. Time is ticking down. Sketchy for three. Cool save. 3.6 seconds in the first period. Time is winding down in the first. I think it's going to be a 4-1 game. That one is going to take, what the heck did this happen? I just got blanked already. I don't know what's going to keep on going. And with a shot. And this one stopped again by Svetsantanov. What a wild one. The smoke on for the Hurricanes are sketchy. I think for two goals in this game, we'll see if he can get his third goal in the hat trick. We'll be back after this. Second period is coming up after the break. Welcome back and we're ready to start the second period in Carolina. Great start so far for the Kings, but now the Maple Leafs are ready, to, are ready to kick back on ice and are ready to start the second period in Carolina. As we take here for you, Center Beast, for the recap of the folks. Well, they've been playing really well. I mean, that's a wild one to start. That's the Kings have already been storming out of here. They are really are pushing the pressure already. I was really concerning of what's going on, but they played it like that. I was really hoping that they played it like they did. Because the front case are really like sweeping them out of here, I thought there would maybe a great chance that they can keep on attacking them. The better range of that might be a great chance opportunity play. And Bordy gets the call on my boost kick. He must have had that one hitting on the Sebastianago, and now it's another power play to get there. Now another power play coming up for Carolina Hurricanes. They're going to be killed for Toronto with 1913 to go. This one makes it a win. And Schedule will have it here. We're looking for his third goal of the game. And Natchez gives it over now to Schedule. Moves the puck after. We're going to rebound to Terrible Hine and it's stopped by Sentinel. Well, he's really trying to fight that back. I know he was really getting that loose up already because he cannot let that one slow behind it. And because it doesn't get that one in there, I mean, that's it. It might be it's done for the night. Matthews wins the faceoff. And there's a power penalty call. Kill on Carolina. As that power play is over, goes into the belt. Yeah, you're not going to do that one anyway. You're not going to try to trip somebody over like that on a power play. You can't play it like that. That one is turned over, and this is what the referee is making a signal on it. And this is what just happened. He made that one tripped over somebody else. The 4-on-4 four four is now on. As right now, Carolina and Maple Leafs have four guys on the ice. The next one we'll do, we'll be, we'll be able to get the power play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And as right now, here's the ground. They just smash it. Got a great one to take. Natchez, who's the buck effort. And, and Sketchy, and the penalty! Now it's going to be a 4 on 3 for Carolina as Mitchell Marner enters the penalty box. Oh, I was in that scene as this play. Well, I don't know what's going to keep on coming, but that is just not good at all. He just said on Sketchy, I mean, hey, you're going to be able to do that? Give me a break. Now in, here's McKay. Tries to give it over to Bennett. Bennett now finds again to Kent. Takes that puck away. Bennett goes down as Puck Kennedy with the rebound. Fires up and out. Now he's the takeover. 
and a pass finds a way on. Shot! Stuck by Sentinel! He scores! Kyle Kennedy runs a team with a 5 4 3 for the advantage and now an extension 5 4. Got that one hit up and over and it's right in the air and he just had that one pointing in. That one just got a great takedown that he does. What a great release for Kyle Kennedy with the goal. That one just made that one clear. And this unfortunate end because Antonov will be the replacement for Wolf as this right now set Jarvis with another point. Now it's back to a four on four. An all play goal for Carolina. And again for Austin Matthews. He fights over again Logan. Logan tries that shot. Big save by Brian Skinner. By more A, excuse me. He now rolls it over. The pass over now finds again a sketchy shot, and this one stopped it out by Wool. This will be a new replacement for your new goaltender, and especially will now have it up. Oh, Nate another goal for Nate. Well, you see what he did, or maybe he just had that one stuffed it in. Yeah, I know what's happening. He made that one in the middle, and he just had that one bumpy in. That is a crazy play. I don't think this was the best game of the night. That one was just goes in. He just went right through it. I was not seeing it how he's gonna be able to do that. Carolina wins another face-off. That's because you will have it the other way. And this will be a replacement for the not Wool, but Brody. Nope, Jones. Is right now Neilander has the puck here, not back to Matthews. Matthews tries to make his way in. On a shot, stopped by Martin. Martin's going to hold it in there. Gives him a little bit of time to get to the next faceoff. It's 17-21 to go. Faceoff coming up, Gordy Canes and the Toronto Maple Leafs. It is now coming down to 25 seconds for a 4-on-4 four four advantage. And a shot's been stopped by Slap. He now finds again Burns. Burns trying to take his way in. Burns, keep it going to Kakemi, and this one stops and he scores again! Two bags makes some two goals in a make. As right now, it's great, it's Stitchy and Kakemi both have one. Well, the arrow must have popped that one in there, and that one just messed it up. And it's like, okay, okay, and you think I'm just going to keep that puck in there. And this is what exactly happened. This one is just the puck in there, and then this is what happens right now. He was really just trying to get the puck in there, but that one was. Nope, he just had that one kicked over and he just messed it up. That's what the arrow is popping up here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're not doing it right. The Leafs are, are in trouble right now as Kakemi with another goal. Both guys have two goals to begin. The next one will be the action for both of them each. Ludwigson will have it the other way and he just knocks that down. And it's Slavin lost the effort. Matthews will take over in there and he finds Riley. That one's a great stop by Sechikov. Riley give over. A shot's blocked up. Now it's back to Sechikov and over again to Slavin. Down to three seconds and that is it. That one puts up a great goal for the power play advantage here for the Hurricanes. They've been scoring that one in there. I know. Talk about the storm. They're just trying to pick up a leaf defender, but I was really noticing they're trying to mess up the storm in Toronto, but I'm thinking that this was a lot of great stoppage that they've done for. I don't know what's going to keep on getting trouble out there, but that is what they are telling turning to be out for. Mike Bushkin with Buck Steele with 60 minutes to go in a second. The deep pass finding for Gandy Matthews. Matthews now finding again nice, nice. And over the shot, saved by Martin. 15.49 left to go in a second. Get ready for the next faceoff. Sebastian Arnold got a little bit of a tumble out there and he just had that one wristed up in the elbow and this one was deflected off. That is going to take a lot of hit come back out there. Now we're up to the next faceoff. Hurricanes has been a better team in the playoff matchups. They are up at a head of extension 7-1. Now Slavin will have it over again to Svechikov. But leaves his own. Tavares will give it again to Brody. Gordy over to Zavara, shot, and another save by Spencer Martin. Burns will swing it out. The pass now will ever get a terrifying. The backhander, and it's stopped by Jones. 
Jones is a new replacement for the goaltender for Samsonov with 15 20 to go. Now this will be your next one to take the face off. Jones still haven't been trying out there, but this is what he was really trying to get over into. And this is what no one has ever expected what they are really look for. And as for Martin Jones, you need to get this one right away. This is like a hard pin back, but I know that this is not going to happen like that. And here's Luger. Over with the shot. Stop made, and he misses the target. He now finds to get in Natchez. Natchez. Natchez swinging through. Rebound by Drewy. And the team is out of play. Look at this fans. They are really liking it. And they are just trying to let it beat the Canadian team. This has been a wild one. Yeah, push your game it is. I mean, I know it's going to happen like that. I mean, you got to give all that credit out there, Craig Canes fans. The best ever to Skedgy. Skedgy. Broken one. And he scores! There's three goals for Skedgy. Great screen cut. Now the hands are on the ice. Well, you say we're ready to Skedgy that this way. He was taking in there. A better look. That's what our kids have been going for. Skedgy rocket shot. Now I know that screen was made in there. That's what happens now. You have it in there with an open look. He said, okay, I'm going to take it deep. And let's see how this happens. And he did. He had that on fire with a screen. That one against the goal. What a great release man. Listen to it, fans. I always say pretty Skedgy is when you turn out three goals in this game. You know, the story you guys are getting was saying that he had a lot of things to say. Great and Skedgy was a really great team in that effort. I was always appreciating what he was able to do. All that effort, it was nothing but they all take in there. But you now know how that happened. The better player voice is not always easy, but you can definitely say for now, all for the once game, it's just how hard they are trying to do. But that was a rocket blast. They are on fire. Just on fire. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but that must have got our great goals out there. We haven't just made it to the end of the second period. That looks like what Brady's sketching has done. I know this is what happens here, guys. They really are expecting now. They are just giving that one out of here. And it looks like somebody is hurt right now, and he's and he's getting off the ice right now. Getting a new replacement here. Fresh lost that puck. And now he has it over right in the other side of it. Nose in trying to get in there in the middle. Now a chance ever try to go right back into the enemy. Now it's back to Orlov. Orlov will try to reset the group here, and now this one will clear that puck out of the zone. And the icing will be whistled on Carolina. Well, his bitter end happened to be pretty sketchy, unfortunately, but sadly though, this was the end of it. I think he is gonna have to bring us to the locker room. Put the close deck of a range right in between his line, but a long extension of the game. It's an 8 1. Not a win for the Hurricanes. Now the pass over again and knows it. Knows it. Making his way in front. Finds pass. Left saved by Jones. Stops the puck with 12 for you to go in the second period. We are not sure what happened to Brady's schedule, but we're glad enough that he had three goals in his hat trick. But we'll keep an eye on the update soon enough to get right through it. Now the wind puts it up as Orlov will try to spin it across. Now finding Vesky. Vesky shoots. Almost went to Dan. Jones had to take it out of here. That was not just an easier way. That they were expecting right now. They said, how could they get the not goal? But that one was really like stepping it out of trouble. They are making this one a lot payable out of their mind. They are not just letting that one get into it. And Martin stops that up with 12 8 to go in the second period. Just the fans were making a response. I know they're just doing it. Now another chance for Lisa here for the Canes and Elise. 12 8 to go nearing the midway market period. Now the win for the Canes and a face-off attack in the United Five Slavin. And Bertuzzi will have it. Ago gives us such a call. Sachikov trying to give over the puck in me. Looking to get three. And Turbinen trying to get that puck in out. And Bertuzzi will fire that out of here. The range of put puts the slabber. Now here's a take for Slabber. Over now again. Makes a hit! Nice big tackle takedown for the Leafs. Oh, uh, there is no way to make an excuse out of it. I don't know what's going to keep on coming out there. 
They really have been messing it up entirely. Trying to play release it here with a move around shot and he scores. Nylander had a beauty backhander. This one will cut down by six. And this being William Nylander's better goal to take. The beauty backhand must have happened here with the backhander beating over Martin. That's what he was putting in there. Now that happened with the puck on string from Nylander. This one keeps it in and then this turned to be a beauty backhand. That has to be a lot of a great takes in there to make that one go in. Nylander over there, playoff goal in the conference finals. With 11 to, 11 to go, and they're nearing the midway marker period. Now the whip puts it in, Florida Hurricanes, and he now finds again a bunny, and bunny will try to deep the puck out. And they just will have it right over in the middle and give it back to Burns. Burns to slap it, on the shit, stopped by Jones. And it's now stopped the puck here with under 11 minutes remaining. In a second. As the win puts it in, here's Burns. Burns got pushed back. They cover by Jury. Jury lost that one. Now he's with the buck right over into the right wing. Badly smashed down and it's right now back here away. Here's an arrow release from here, and slapping the deep pass to Nuchex. Nuchex, oh man, oh, a quick hit. They're all over right now. I mean, Bunning's team is just trying to battle it out. I think Riley was trying to let them say, they try to take him over. The better effort needs to be out there regardless. And Bunning stops that shot. Jordan, it's going to be a kick. Martin takes it over into the corner. Corner, shoots it, and saved by Jones. Martin Jones will stop that buck with just under 10 minutes remaining in a second, and we finally pass the midway mark of Pyramid. This is going to be a dangerous hit here for the Maple Leafs in the zone. They are really are trying to smash it out like it's a big clash on clash angle. This one is going to be a hurtful to make it worse. Yeah, I mean, nobody likes that one to make a clash hockey play. I mean, this is like tackling the football. When you're doing it on here, I mean, this is not going to happen really well. And Jarvis will have it again to Orlov. Orlov shot, stopped by Jones with that open look. Now we're passing the year in the 930 mark of the second group. Base off coming up in between Canes and the Leafs. Line very to go. Now to Rick. Here's Gordon. Now he finds Lugo. We're going to try to make his way right toward Indian on left wing. The young foot lost the effort. Missed it badly. And back to Chatfield. Goes down to Nose. Nose trying to get past right by him. And he lost that one as Brody will have it over again to Tavares. Tavares can't take the puck in. And it's fast, the airway. Listen to the fans. They are just chanting right now. That's not going to be what happened. Just taking a break already. I mean, that's what. Their team is up to you. I mean, they are just cheering them on. I mean, I know what they're doing. I think that the Hurricanes are really like the better team to get over it into that. And because of what they are doing, they, they really are trying to put the pressure up there. They want to support them for good. Every reason in why, I guess they're going to need to do that one in our big way. Well, he now finds the letter again to Petruzzi. Petruzzi right to the left wing. Big hit! Nice takedown for Slavin. Burns now finds Oppo. And oh, another hit. That's dangerous out there. McCabe's got that foot. Trying to enter it in. Terramine back in over now, finding another look to Oppo. They lost that one. Joey loses it. Terramine can't take the puck in there. McCabe with the puck. Right over into the airway on the side, and it's another stop down, and it's another hit puts up for the home case. Right toward the middle, stops that puck. And he went down up after it. Austin Matthews trying to get back to Bennett. Bennett finding more. Wire to McKay. Shoots it. We deflect it off again by Nietzsche's. And naive with the chance. Saved up by Martin. We got the puck by Burns, and now it's back to Bunny. Bunny clears that puck out, and this will be able to make it out all the way into the leaf zone. And back to Bunny. Gives a great job in the heads up play. The collision was really going to be turning bad, but that one was no optionary why he was going to definitely try to do it. But that one was really great. He had that one with the great effort. I really liked it when they were playing it really well. 
That's what they were doing, playing defense effort. Just plays right. Meaning just go with the effort and you can't get away with that. Time is ready to take things on. The Canes still up ahead by six. Now the win puts it in for Labushkin. And Riley will have it over again to Yarko. Yarko right down toward in the right wing. And finding McMahon. Shoots it and he scores. They are just climbing back down right now by five. That's his first goal for McMahon, now with his second goal in the playoffs. Well, you know for McMahon, that one beats it over the legs. This one was happening to be over it, and then there was no other way to try to, like, to stand it back. That's what Spencer Barkin was really seeing, what McMahon happens. But that time, he didn't really stand a chance. Slowly to get up there in the second period. Yarnford with the assist. Now he's trying to look in there to get right through it. The, the better range it happens, they need to get this one in right sort of out of time out there. They really are trying to like let him go by with a loose chain. They really don't have another way to get right through it. I was really sure enough that they were trying to let him slow it down, but that behind it didn't really think he was going to let it lead it all to the point. And Chance Ever is really going to take it over. 2 on one and it's, it's off to get it by a defender, and Jones will cover it up with 5.47 to go in the second period. We do have an update here for Brandon Scoochie as he's sitting over the paintbrush. Thanks guys, I was able to talk to, a Brady, to one of the managers right now and also the medical attentioners in, in the locker room. With that happens being said right now, he had that Bruce kick. One of the big, biggest baddest of the game. This one has to be a danger zone that has to be caught carefully, but this was a no, not a great way to start that off. All that happens now, they are really are just making this one a lot of the bad plays in the call. There's no way that that happened already. With no penalty on the fighting, I mean, that rugby must have been there be really badly. I don't know what's going to take over, but that was really like a painful brutal on the game. But are we glad enough right now because the Braden Sketchy had three goals in this game with a hat trick. And with that one, he'll be able to miss the rest of it in the second period to the third period. Great schedule will be able to be remembered here, and this will be uh, a speedy recovery and keep your eyes back on game three. Back to you. All right, thank you guys so much. We couldn't appreciate it for Great Schedule. The all was a hard accomplishment. I guess he, he really earns his hat trick. We really appreciate it, man. Because I think right now, because he's in a locker room, I think he's going to tell one of them right now, so let's hope he is. For three, the penalty, saved by Jones. Logan now finds it again to Matthews. Four minutes left in the second period. Matthews can't really take the puck effort. Slavin now finds Fox and back to Cock Enemy. He will clear that puck in right behind the net. This one was right now the airway. Here's Burns. With the chance he scores! Just put back with the deflection goal. Now they're back up again. All believing in the game, Buck Kennedy to Burns, and now he gives it over to Fox. It's a deflection to give it in. Now watch what happens to Burns, because right now with Jeff Fox, he shows up. But this one was hit by Smith, and this one was deflected off the other way. He just really stands there, and then moves it over, and now he makes a deflection. He got a great one to take. But can we see now trying to get back into it? A long three hit. This has been a largest lead so far for the Carolina Hurricanes. I have never seen anybody, anybody like this. Me neither. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on coming down. I mean, they're really going to step you through. Slavin misses the shot wide. And he now finds it over again to Cock Kennedy. He's behind it. He's behind the net right now. And he will now have to try to find the other way to Holmberg as he now has it. Chatfield, great puck away, and Fax back the airway. Down to the three minutes in the second period. Fax going for two. Shot locked up. And it's now over. Kemp takes it over right by Yuck back the airway. And it's Reeves with a save by Morton. Great stop effort as Otto will now try the airway. To pass the terror behind it and saved by Jones. Jones is going to pull that puck here, which is only 234 left to go in his second. We'll say they wanted to have another clean face out to go for. I mean, the Hurricanes are doing really well. Better chance than ever right now. I mean, better, better, better than game one. I mean, there's going to be a lot, a lot of tight ones out there. 
the jersey. Makes a smacking hit. And Orlov trying to have it out. Now he goes an arrow into Orlov. Deeps the puck zone, finding Sebastian Aho. South of an arrow hit. And now finds an arrow into Chatfield. Here's Orlov. Takes it over, back to Terravine. And it's back to Orlov. Gives it to Chatfield. Chatfield loses the effort. And Bertuzzi back the early. Takes a smack down, and Orlov will have it out. Looks again to Terravine. Now it's over to get a Chatfield. Under two minutes remaining in the second period. Looks like they wanted more. And Bunning is right for the outside. No penalty called on Toronto as Nylander will have the arrow. Nylander, that's the Dome. Dome. And Riley. Over and out of it. Nylander. Rybushkin shot. No deflection given. Rybushkin has a chance. Blocked up. And it's stopped again by Swartman. He's really not been able to do that well. I mean, that's what Martin is really trying to get through. I mean, you're not going to make that one easier, but that was like a great helping effort to take it in. Last man remaining in the second period. He now finds it over to pass to Stahl. Stahl gets to Burns. Burns lost the effort. And back to Burns. Deflection. Locked it up. Slavin's got that one back to Natchez. Natchez. Right towards the middle. And this way has been whipped again too soon. Stahl moves around the other way. And Bunny will have it out. They kick the puck back to Stahl. There's a chance for Bunny. Loses the effort. All off shot. Saved by Jones. Now finds the airway. Orlock from the outside. Moves it in. This way it's redirected. And that ends the second period. Largest lead of the night in game two. Nine threes to score with a great race for, for Burns to give it over again to Fast. They are now having a fun night here in Carolina. Nine threes to score, be back for the third period. And we are ready. Two periods again, and we're going to be ready to go. Here we go. We're ready to start the third period, and we are underway in Carolina. Let's hand out with a good look over to you guys, and we'll have a look over you too, and how you get it. Well, playing for seriously, I was really noticing that they really are been able to show them off. I was really, really happy with that. All that feelings, I think Carolina has been a very good team. Playing it for real, I mean, not just anybody who can play it like that, but I was really noticing they have been scoring so many times. Gotta give that one a credit to them. As the play continues right now, here's like Bushka now finding the rock. Riley right toward the right wing. Nearing down the end of his own, trying to go for some more space. He went down. Burns sets it over to Slavin. He now finds Alpha. Alpha right toward the left wing. Fans are still loving it so far in the in the PNC arena as he finds this Svechikov. And Burns gets it again to Slavin. Keeping the puck alive, looking it over again to Svechikov. Keep the play rolling. With the shot, scores! Season. No joke, and it's no way out of they play it. This is unbelievable. Well, you're playing it for like that. If you're playing it on the, on the NHL. If you score more than any other guys you have played, you have no option of how you've done that one to your games. But this is for you guys who've been playing here at a game. If you're a gamer, and if you play it like the other team, this is definitely unbelievable for you guys. If you play it like that, that means, that means you just feel like, how do you do with all that goals? That is just unbelievable when you play it like that. Yeah, I mean, this is what they all take. Because if you play it like you did here, guys, you would have a larger sleeve like that. And Perwitz will have that puck. Wasting a bound to go for deflection, it's off again, and Martin Jones saw that coming. And Riley gets it over to either. He finds it in Matthews. Matthews right turn the right wing, and the penalty will be on, on Natchez. 17.40 to go, and this one will stop the play as he's in a penalty box. 
Well, you just don't have to trip up somebody else like that. This is not how you play it. You can't just let somebody else take the trip over to the wars. The penalty kill is on the Carolina Hurricanes. It's right now. They will have it over to try to get back into it again for Toronto Maple Leafs. And we will put it up here for the Maple Leafs. As John will have it. He missed the shot block. Now it's rebounded again to McMahon. And it looks like the team wanting to get back in there. Domi fires a shot. Will Tyler stop? Oh, what a nice save here by Spencer Martin. He took that one out to deny that play. Oh, that better effort out there. I was loving that Spencer Martin was making a great save out of it. That impact was really talking over for anybody, and they have been really been stopping him out of here. I was really, really surprised at how that happened. Because of Spencer Martin, he just made that one with a great save to take it out. And that was unbelievable how they did. The pass over to Pesky. Loses the effort. And Domi has it over again. McMahon. McMahon spring it across and a save up by, up by Spencer Martin. Pavo deeps it over right to the left wing. Just down to a minute in the power play. And this run gives it over and Orlov gives it out to Stahl. Now finds Jarvis. Jarvis for a shorthanded goal. This will be taken over. A little girl will try to step it over back to Domi. Domi shot. Stopped again. Jaffield finds it over to Stahl. Stahl will fire it out around the net on the airway as Orloff now finds Jarvis. Jarvis, looks like he's in full sprint. He's going to take it. Oh, that's Martin with another save. There's no other option how he was going to take the short game to goal. He really wants it. Looks like that, uh, that Murray Matrix is out of the penalty box, ready to go. And stopped by Spencer Martin with just under 16 minutes remaining in the third. With the upcoming games on our way, we've got a great ones to take. Dallas Star Wars facing against Vancouver Canucks happening in tomorrow night. That will be a 9.30 game. Following along with this, this part of it as we will get back into the NBA playoffs for games 3 and 4 for the Western Eastern and Western Conference Finals. We're right in between the two. We're right in the zone of, the, of one of the Ben Rote. We're right in the zone of Dallas Mavericks against the Timberwolves happening at 9.30. And then the other side of it will be the Eastern Conference as we see the other one, the Heat and the Celtics. It's at 8.30 p.m. That will be all the games here, only on Senate Beats. And don't forget, he's got a big trip coming up here to New York City as he's ready to take things on. Here to check it out. The, the best part of it of, of the BFTI and MA Sandy Tour. Last year was successful, but this year is going to be tough. And yes, guys, this is going to be great right now. So I'm really super impressed. I am pumped, and I am really super excited to see the returning uh, character creators and also the cast of the uh, and Anime Sandy and BFTI. I can't wait to see them coming back here for the second time on the tour for the biggest of the moment of the day in New York City. Now the pass is broken up. Power plays over 40 Hurricanes as they have really been stepping in, doing really well. I'm really happy now because that one happens to be a great one for Hurricanes. They really are stepping that up. The better pace of this one is not always easy enough when you take the lot of chance ever. That's happened to everybody who plays that one at the same time. When they are doing it well on the defense, they've got to let them make sure they get right into the game of the offense. This has been turning great. And now you got the big effort to take all of them at once. Stall and her team, they're really putting an impressive way to get right through it. I was really noticing what can do, what can go with the next stepper. I gotta say that this really is turning to be great. And slam it. Shot. Chopped up. And now it's back over to Burns. Burns trying to get out of the zone with the chopper. Backhand step by Jones. Jones still under cold. Still cold already, but Jones still's got that save out. Now the wing puts it in for the Maple Leafs. He now finds Paterzi. Paterzi, stick handling his own move. Now finds Labushkin. Again, Domi. Domi gets it over. And a pass broken up. Major sends it over the way. Again to Drury. Drury, right to the right way. He fires it around the net. Bunting will have it over again to Orlov and finding Chatfield. Fires a shot. Big save play by Jones. He will try to stick it out back to Chatfield. 
He now finds her off and gets again to Natchez. Natchez moves the effort. And now he is right. Marley right towards down here, right toward the other side. He finds the later again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi on his way down. On his way to doing it. Shot, step again by Spencer Martin. Natchez brings it back. And Drury will try to go get it. Door the corner. Got a almost get a big hit here as, as Chatfield will have it over now. Find again to Olaf, again to Svechikov. Svechikov trying to rebound that puck. Looks for Stilling challenging. Back to Orlov. And the penalty's called on Toronto. They're in trouble now. They're not playing it really, really expected. Because of that last game, they're not expected to play really well. And this is what happens now. That the Maple Leafs are, are full pressing out. And this is not playing really well. They're just getting tucked over. And this is not playing good. Tavius is really noticing. He is in trouble right now. He's not happy what he's playing for. Because of that point, it's going worse. Not everybody's playing at, uh, at it again, but they gotta like keep it going already. But they're they get trying to know where to cover the man on the offensive defense. This is not how it's gonna happen like that. And Marner gonna be able to take a short hand it. I man rush, stopped by Martin. This one stays right toward the wall. What a great stop here. And that's what Martin was really like trying to do. That is a great take. Without missing anything, he just made that one a great save. He used Natures. Right around the net. Ludwig. Right over again. Trying to find another tackle. A takeover. He fires that puck out. And Natchez will have it over. Now trying to give it again to Jarvis. Jarvis moves that puck. Slavic now finds it over to the Buddy. Buddy shot! Off the glove! And it's Otto backing over. And Slavin shot. Saved by Jones. Jones stops that puck with 11.20 to go. 12 to go. You know, the midway mark of the period. So lots of time up in the period. Largest lead of the night. They're up by seven, a 10-3 game, Carolina. Now to win. He has to take over to Natchez. Natchez shot. Going for deflection is stepped out. And McCabe now finds again a bet. Bennett racing his way down. He fires that out. Now finds Carolina. Deep the puck zone. And they've got some tire defensive out there. This will be an icing on Carolina. Settle down with this, settle down with the, with the two, as this will be under 11 minutes to go in the third. Not a win for Domi. McCabe shot, plus saved by Martin. Near the midway mark of the period in the third, as we're getting closer down to the back half. Teams are ready to go, ready for the next face-off. Now the way, we have Svechikov. Right over again to Drew. A deeper pass to Nozan, it's when it sticks out. And we're gonna have to leave it over from here. That bad, that bad pass is not turning what they're expecting to do. They can't play it like this, and this is not gonna happen like that. They, they need to do something else to try to fix it up. The win puts it in for Stutchkoff's team, and now here's Teravainen. Teravainen trying to go for the attack. And right towards him with the shot for Drury, saved up by Jones. Rosen trying to give over again to Burns, right toward around the net. Time's about to expire. Teravainen, no offside, puck still in his own. And this way is out, and now Burns will regroup the puck as they're back to full strength. Easier way to do this one here. I mean, they're trying to let it go by, but this one was not turning what they're expecting because of this point. They just didn't really think they were going to let that one keep on going. And I can't even tell what's going on because that is a hard way to get right through it. But they need to try to like show them up how it's done. I know it's really like a bigger way to get right through it. They've been scoring it so many times. All that happened now, they've been playing it for so well. Major staff finding Burns again to Drew. Drew shot gloved up by Jones. 941 to go in the third. The new skit is happening to make the release during the summer of 2024. It's now called the Party Crashers at his house. The big place, uh, right now as as the Sun of Beast doing some another workout here, 
you'll be able to try to find them out how will he walk Angela because this will be his day to get right through it. And of course, you've got a great ones to take here to check it out. Right in between the alley, between from the trip and from the house out and the party crashers, right in between with Warrior, Tyler Beast, and of course, everybody's favorite guy to return, Chris Luigi guy. The player of this one here from the deals, he's ready to bring it back. We love to have him on his way down here. I mean, I like being switched over, and this is whatever happens thanks to Chris the Beast. He really loves to be here as Chris Luigi guy. That's all in right here, only on Set of Beast, beginning on July 29th. Avo will now fire it across again to Spetchapod. He was a take. Now, Avo, this one is broken up, and Brody now finds McMahon. Also, we got a great one to take here, and a penalty will be up called for the Carolina. Not playing like they did, and he scores. They won't have to worry about the power play. Luger makes that goal. They were just trying to cut that lead down by six. Now, how's that example? How did that show right over here for Martin? And this is what they are really expecting to play like that. And for like Bruce, and for Ludwig, he made this one there tipped in, and that goal was really like turn it over. They really needed to try to like defend that, but they can't be left to important to get right through it. They were really are trying to like go right from the attackers, and then how could they ever do it like that? This has been like crazy games, like they did. And they have to just try to find another way to get through it. To try to, to try to pull it back the other way. And there's no overtakes for them because they were trying to stop them. They are really are not letting this one go right by the trick. This has like already been like taking over in between the goals and the defenders. They've been looking at all over right now. They gotta try to like come up with a creation to get through it. Jarvis now finds again a seven. Seven shot and left up by Jones Jr. Jones, excuse me. And now with under eight minutes in the third, looking for our next chance in the faceoff. All which is being said, we're ready for the next faceoff. It has been a one of the tight teams, the biggest get, the biggest takedown. It is the best seed of the team. The second seed has been knocking it over it right now. It's a 10-4 game. Beating the Flyers in the air game. Oh, a big hit, and I think that's not gonna happen. That's going to be Burns with a charging call. Yeah, he charged it, and that's what happens now. You can't take, take over the defender, and that one is going to be another power play for the Maple Leafs. This has been a struggle for the Kerry Canes, and now that the Maple Leafs will have another power play advantage to take the goals back down by five, Let's hope if we can handle it this way. Here's an air one for Jarvis. And Jarvis will have it in the airway, right toward the right and left wing. Oh, a chance for shorthanded! Stopped it! Yeah, by Martin Jones. 7.20 to go in the third. And Tony will have it over. Loses the effort. Tavares lost the putt. And Pesci will have it in the airway. The rollout zone now has it over. Here, right toward the back of the net. Backing over, back to Jarvis, and he finds Orlov. Orlov shot, trying to go for deflection, and this one denied it up by the goaltender. You know, the quick reaction was really getting into it. That piece of it just is going to try to shovel it out. They really are not expecting to look for another goal. That needs to be out there for a quick second to go for a favor. Here's Stoll right toward the left wing. He fires it around the net, and Domi has to pass again to McMahon. McMahon, let his way right toward the right wing. Fires it over, and a save by Morton. Sheffield now finds again to Ago. 6.13 left to go in the third period. Letting the clock wind down as Sheffield will have it. The puck leaves his own, and Ago will now have the pass over again to Slavin. Slavin, on his way down, finding Ago. The pass over to Sheffield. Locked it up, and Tommy will have it the air away. And I think Chatfield must have had that penalty call. Yeah, I don't think it's not turning to what they're expecting now. I mean, that, and that's it for the power play. I think that somebody else is going to be in the penalty box now. Yep, it is Chatfield. He must have had that one with the interference. He must have got that one game taken over. But I think that now that somebody else is going to be back on the, on the ice right now is, you know, 
Bruins, the Brett Bruins will be out there soon enough. And right now, it looks like the power play is still continuing to this moment. It's going to happen again. The fans are disliking this call, and they're never going to like it at all. And a shot. This is off of the defender. Again, on Slavin. And he finds Matthews after deflection. This one stayed out of it for Martin. Now the man advantage is still still resuming. As now as Ch Chapel is still in the penalty box. As Bowers is back on the ring. Martin with the glove safe. Near a five minute mark in the third period. Still look like they wanted to get some more rest. And give one to it. Now the face off is coming in for between the two of the Maple Leafs and the Hurricanes, we're going to do an air take. And the win will put it in for the Hurricanes. Slap. We'll now have it over to get the Burns. A deep pass. Matthews takes a puck steal. A pass over to Nylander. Nylander. Over with the chance. That would stop eight here. That's another great stop by Spencer Martin. Took that over with the big chain. That all happened to be an effort in to take in. I was really noticing that Spencer Martin would do it the same thing. And Bertuzzi drops that puck out of here. And now with only one minute in the power play. Wow, what a close save by Martin. That quick retirement release, but that was a really great save. He just almost went down and spilled. But look at these fans. They really are showing their support. They love Spencer Martin. This one's game two, a spectacular ending to give that one a chance to stop the defending from the bot for a shot to get back in there for the visiting team. Here's Petruzzi. Loses the effort. Marner. Off again on the deflection for Orloff. Now Bunning. Tries to handle it over. He will pull the puck out with under four minutes remaining. Chuckfield's all set. Brady be out of the penalty box. And Orloff will have it over again. Now find another Bunning. Man advantage is over for the Maple Leafs, and now that's Chatfield who will be running into the bunk bench. It's going to now be a changeover in between the zones. What a stop here! You know, that's what ever happens here for the defenders. They are really are spending, instead of spending a lot of time, they really are trying to let them go in. This attacking range is going to keep on coming in there. I was really expecting that the Carolina Hurricanes could play really well, and now you know they did. And not a chance over, I send it over to Paintbrush for the best player of the night. You know, Sebastian Oliver has been really doing great. I was really expecting that he played really well. All that happens to be one of his third eye on his perceptible passer, and this is what my favorite was. I really like it when he was playing with his better offense, and I always get to love it too. You gotta get this Sebastian Ago a great way for him for some recovery, and he's been really enjoying it. Devo Terramana in the penalty box. Through the six left to remain in the third period. Looks like they will be adding another power play for the Maple Leafs. Well, playing like Dallas Stars, they don't play it like this, but the dirty one is, he got tripped somebody over. It's not going to happen like that at all. Another penalty call for the Carolina, and the power play is up, ready to go. Coming down right toward the line, as Pesky will now have it over again to Chaffield. He will deep the puck out of here as Lindgren finds John Crook. This wants to flick it off too soon, and finding Stahl. Stahl tries to give over the fast. Looks it over to Stahl, but it's short-handed! Saved by Jones! Just 2.45 left to go in the third. And this one is coming down toward the line at the end of the regulation period. Now they're up to the next face-off. 10 to 4 is the score for the third period. Now it's Lindbergh, finding McMahon. McMahon. Trying to roll it over to Lilbrick, shot and a stop made by Martin. Double man traffic collision here as Martin tries to clear the game, the puck in three. Covering up in, and now the next face off is in between the Carolina or Toronto. The wick for the Middle East. And shots, the blocker made here by Spencer Martin. We are almost coming down to a two minute mark. Now Young will go have it again to McMahon. McMahon tries to look over it into the center. Back to Domi. Domi shot, save. And now one for Natchez. Natchez. Losing the puck in range and Young will have it the arrow. He fires that shot and stopped by Martin. Now they're ready to do another face off. 
2.02 left in the third period. They will try to do it our way again. And the red puts it up for Carolina, for Toronto. This one's off the blocker, and Chaffee will now have it again to Jarvis. He will not have his range in there. This one will be right around the wing, and that will be the end of the Leafs. Full pressure. The Tuesday with another chance. On his way down, it's blocked up as this one chopped up into the little traffic area. Peshke will now have it over to Jarvis. Great chance of him to clear the pot, unable to get it out. And a stop made by Spencer Martin. Abba will now try to give it over now, finding the airway. And the fans are looking it up for support. They are still loving it. Looks like it's Tebow Terramite stepping out of the penalty box. Sheffield kicks it out. Power plays over for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Back to full strength with one minute to go. This is what they all have to expect now. Tebow Terramite just had a lot of them to make a great game on the effort. This has been a largest lead during the second game, and I know they're handling it off that really well. Because of that point, they really are been keeping it going, and this was definitely it. All that happened now, they're just loving this game so far that the Hurricanes are just trying to destroy the Canadian team of the Maple Leafs. This is what happens now. When no one likes the Maple Leafs, they really don't like the American team. If they don't like the uh, American team, then they don't like the Canadian team. So the shot stopped made here by, by Martin. And the last one will be it. Natures, the fans, on its way to supply for the biggest game of the night. And Bunny will let the time go down, and Drury will finish it over as a deflected right to Bunny, and that is it. Final score of the night, 10 to 4 is the best, and this one was the largest lead for Carolina. Carolina extends 2 0 in the series. And that's it. The game is over. A zero to Armani. Congratulations to the team and for Spencer Morgan, the biggest save of the night. That's what you all have to do because last time was Coach Cup. Now, Morgan just made a wonderful save. He's been the best. And we can't just get enough to salute it to make the power down to a strike and make a win. All fall down. This is what game two wins for a 2-0 game. And that's going to do a deal for this one. With me, Uma, along with Summit Beats and Paintbrush, this has been a presentation of the NHL of the Conference Finals on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us in, and we'll see you all again for the next game. Take care, everybody. Alright, thank you guys so much. Time for three star players of the game. The first star goes to break to one of the biggest of the events of the night. It goes to Cop Kennedy. That one was his first star of the game. And it was Spencer Martin was the third star of the game. And Brady Sketchy with three goals in the game. That made a hat trick, but this one had just made that one unbearably with the big hit that he had took. And now, with our best chance here, that's Cop Kennedy with two goals and the one number one star of the game. Here's how you do it at those statistics. 80 out of 50 for Carolina total shots and goal. And it was 64 over 39 total for Toronto. Biggest kick. That was 1147 over 421 time on attack for Carolina. 92% passing over Toronto for Toronto over 75. Then it was 41 face-off wins over 38 for Carolina. 12-minute penalty kill was on Carolina over, and 6-minute penalty kill was for Toronto. And only one power play goal for Carolina with 2.56. No power play goal for Toronto, which left him off the gap, 9.56. So that's it for this game of Game 2. And for tomorrow night, we'll be again Stars and Canucks. The next commentary will be James Sobolski and Cheryl, with Carl Carling Bay in the center ice. Thanks for tuning us in, and I'll see you all again next time. Take care, everybody, for a while as the NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals dial. This is Terry Crews signing you out. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful night. So long in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.